This is the front end cradle from a C5 Corvette suspension. In order for me to be able to install it underneath the bottom of the Corvair, I need to shorten it by seven inches in width. In order for me to do that, I need to find an area that is absolutely square, flat, and of equal height. And since it's a casting, of course, those areas do not exist. So the first thing I needed to do was to set the casting in the milling machine and make sure that the height from this pad and the height from this pad were exactly the same. Once I had that, I moved towards to the forward edge of the casting and I ensured that this edge going across was dead square. Once I had it square, what I did was I came into the corner of each casting and I machined an edge here and an edge here and a height pad on each side. I've got the same thing on the right side, square edges and the same height pad. Once I have that, I'm able to remove the material from the center of the casting, run an aluminum bar or flat plate from this side of the casting to this side of the casting, less the seven inches, that'll give me my exact seven inch dimension that I need, and it'll also ensure that the casting remains square and the height of these pads remain exactly the same right before welding. Afterwards, I split the casting into two equal segments. Once separated, I can remove equal amounts of material from each side. So here you can see the two sections of the cradle added together. They were machined square. And in these areas here that were previously machined, that will now hold a six inch aluminum plate to add strength to the casting once it's welded together. So now that the cradle has been machined square and seven inches has been removed from the center, an aluminum plate has been machined and bolted down to those machined surfaces. The reason for that is to keep all the surfaces completely square from one another and level. In the middle, you can see a straight edge standing up on the two machine pads. And if we look across between the edges, we can see that those pads are exactly level to one another. If we go across, you can also see here and here, that those edges are also parallel to one another. So therefore, the cradle now is in complete registration left to right, up and down.